All right, good morning, guys. Hey, it's Stephen Dunn with Core Therapy and Pilates. In a moment, I'll be joined by my buddy, Dr. Jared. And what we're going to be going over today is something that's been coming up in the clinic um, frequently in the last few weeks. And what that is is people with shoulder pain. And the shoulder pain that they're having is based on their shoulder elevating up towards their ear. And typically what I'm referencing are some, um, I'm working with some young athletes. I have a couple of pitchers uh, and a couple throwers, uh, football throwers, baseball throwers. And I also have several tennis players that I'm working with that are having the same issue. And basically what's going on is they're having a situation where their arm goes overhead to do the, mo uh, the, the activity they're doing. The blade is really high up in the air like this. And we really want that blade to be down like this. So we're going to go over that a little bit and, and kind of go over some ways of um, some tips to keep out of that. Here we go. Dr. Jared's in the house. So we're going to use him for a model. Now go ahead and I'm going to have you turn around and face the back. And I want you to take that, uh, it's a right shoulder, so let me get on the right side, and raise that right shoulder into abduction out to the side. And so as he does that, what happens is the, the blade is sitting in a position like this, the shoulder blade. Now relax it down for me, Jared. Now this time, do that same thing, but let the shoulder hike up towards your ear. Yes, and now raise that arm up. So see the difference there and how jammed this is? And now come on down and then do the same thing, but keep it down. Look at the difference there. So his blade will move a little bit. Do that once more. It's a little bit of motion there. There we go. That's a little better. But now do it wrong. See that difference? And what happens? Take a break. We see that so commonly that the first motion of whenever, let's say, you're pitching or serving a tennis is to go here instead of here. So being able to keep my arm here, this is not what we want. This is what we want. So we want to be able to go here, not there. Or serving with a tennis racket here, not there. And so that's just something we're seeing frequently. You got any, uh, anything to say about that, Jerry? No, I'm with it. Um, Cause it's all about efficiency, right? Correct. That, especially when you got the young athletes trying to make, to make it to the next level, that little bit can make a huge difference. Right? That's right. And what happens when this is happening and elevating the rotator cuff tendon that sits in here, there's a little tiny rotator cuff tendon. Let me grab something. <clears throat> And we look at this shoulder blade here. We got a rotator cuff tendon coming in. Oh man, it's not yes. working for me like I want it to, of course. This is live television, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it never works like it wants. So we got this little rotator, uh, this little green band is going to represent the rotator cuff. And what happens whenever that shoulder elevates, that sh rotator cuff is getting pinched. And then you go to move your arm, Ooh. it's pinching more. Ooh. So someone that would have tendonitis or bursitis or any of the itis uh, situations going on. There's an inflammation going on, but it's typically gonna be coming from this raising up more than anything else. So in order to improve tendonitis bursitis, it's not just working on the inflamed area, it's working on keeping that shoulder blade down, which comes from the lower traps, it comes from the lats, and what ends up happening is our day-to-day -day world, we spend our upper traps like this, our levator scapula like this, and we don't have a situation where we can get into this position very well. So that's our message for today. Uh, if you need some um, individual attention on getting your shoulder blade out of your uh -huh. ear, that's what we're here for. Uh, so come see us, comment below with any questions, uh, share share this out with any friends or uh, family that might be uh, this information especially, might be beneficial for. Especially in the youth athletes out there. That's right, and that's who we're seeing a lot with this: young tennis players and young baseball players uh, and young football players. Basically, throwing activities or overhead activities, whether it's serving volleyball, tennis, whatever. So that's what we got for you today. I hope this makes sense, and uh, we'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye, guys. Healthy shoulders, y'all.